Sue Freeze. We're back for more. We've got a really nice sequence for you. This is an intermediate to advanced level West Coast swing sequence. We're going to start off with our basic. Count one and two. I'm going to separate three and four and just go into a basic open pattern. From here, I'm going to change hands so that I'm right to right. So you can get to this position from any pattern you already know how to do. So right hand to right hand, I'm going to lead an in and out roll, which means to bring her forward on the one and two, to drop the hand down into hammer lock, three, and take the other hand, which is exposed at the front of the body on four, and have her turn back around to her right as a paddle, five and six. So I've got to make sure that I lead that foot forward on six, because typically that would be like an anchor. At the same time, I'm going to move to the other side of the track and drop the right hand behind the head to release it. So it's a decorative action. Let's go this way so they can see that. Again, we're going to bring her forward, slowly and walk, two, she rolls, three and four, and on five and six, she's going to turn back to face me, five and six, I'm going to drop the hand over the head. So ladies, you need to keep the arm relaxed so he can bring the hand over the head. If you notice, she's also forward on her left shoulder, which is going to help her for the next move, which is to quickly spin her into a hand change. So I'm going to get her spinning, make a quick hand change until she wraps the sweetheart, and at the very end of that turn, you notice that as she's coming around the corner, I'm parallel myself to her, so we both come around the corner at the same moment. Then from here, I'm going to lead her to triple around me, triple step, and then an anchor step on the other side of me. Let's take a look at that again. Very cool sequence, very fast sequence. Okay, so she's going to walk in on one, two, roll three and four, take it up and over, five and six. Give her that lead to spin, grab the hand again, make sure you turn with her, switch her around the body, and back her into the triple step. One more time from another angle. Starting with a right hand to right hand hold, walking one, two, rolling three and four, looping five and six, tripling seven and eight, and triple step, triple step. Now the spin that we're doing there is a fast foot, one foot spin to the left. So what I do here is I bring her forward, Count one and two, roll her three and four, bring her back five and six. I'm stepping in opposition of her without blocking her so much. So she can still come forward on her foot. Now what I need to do is turn myself all the way around to the other side of her while I'm making the hand change. So I turn, change hands, and get turned around. So that's creating a little bit of momentum on the spin. And the ladies have the option in the footwork. Followers, what you want to do is, since you're turning to the left, you want to spin on your left foot. Most of your weight is on your left foot. If you want to paddle like I do, you can do that. It's fine either way. That's a little, little compression push. Helps you get through the spin. If you find that you spin really, really fast on one foot, okay, then just stay on one foot. Most people like to take the extra little push-off step, or brushing step as they call it. So we've counted one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now, we don't worry about counting right now. We just want to spin until we're done. So that would be these two, seven, and eight just to get around. Now her right foot should be free because she was on her left foot, which now gives me the opportunity to switch her. Triple step, and then triple step. Once you're here, you can do any cross hand hold pattern, sugar push, you can even leave an overhead whip from here, down to the shoulder, back her out again, and triple step, and that puts you back in your normal hand hold again. That's a cool sequence, so I'm sure you're gonna have fun with that one. You gotta get that to the music at different speeds. Try it to slow first, work your way up. We're gonna come back and show you what this looks like with music.